a spray of gas, and then an eruption of flames. This is a gas geyser, a demonstration of a danger you may not know about. A warmer weather means heading outdoors for work and play. But some of the tools and toys we use could pose a risk of severe burns, even death. Teresa Marchetta shows us what could be sitting in your garage right now that's putting you at risk. This is a Contact 7 Consumer Alert. If it geysers and that gasoline gets ignited, then you can have property damage, you can have serious injuries, and you can even have deaths. Dennis Shelp recreates some of our worst nightmares for a living. This can happen, yes, and has happened. And he says gas geysering is one of them. We are measuring pressure if you see that hose coming off the top of the tank. Shelp is a forensic engineer at Advanced Engineering Investigations. Are you ready? With Littleton Fire standing by, they show us what happens when you have a hot gas tank that doesn't vent properly. We could see the tank bulging as the vapors built up inside. Ready, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. They use a pull line to take the cap off fast. First, gas shoots out, and then the flames. If the operator is right there and they're the ones taking off the cap, they're going to get sprayed with gasoline as well. And so there's a big potential for serious burns and even death. Here's a YouTube video of a real life scenario. A guy using a chainsaw to trim a tree. It won't start up, so he checks the gas tank and gas geyser. It could happen with any gas power piece of equipment like a chainsaw, a mower, or an ATV. All are used outdoors where gas cap vents can easily get blocked by dirt, soot, and mud. It's not just the pressure. Right. It's also the fact that the gasoline is above its boiling temperature. So when you turn the cap, that pressure is released. The gas instantly boils and shoots up. Hot gasoline can cause severe burns alone, but could also turn into this. In a real world scenario, one possible ignition source would be hot exhaust, the surfaces of the hot exhaust, the muffler. Um, there also could be a static discharge. I've seen it happen quite a few times over, over my career. Nick Hoisington was part of a hotshot crew managing a controlled burn in Larimer County. I went to start my chainsaw and uh, I gave it a couple pulls and it, it turned over, but it just kind of, you know, gargled it for a second and then died, kind of like when you run out of gas. He thought he was out of gas. Popped the cap just to look inside to see, see how much was in there. And uh, at that point is where um, it geysered on me. At that moment, there was a very small open flame in the ash near where he was standing. I didn't catch on fire immediately. Like, I had, I had enough time to look at it and kind of have a oh crap moment, if you will. I caught fire and kind of this whole right side of my body is kind of kind of went up in flame. Shelp says people often miss the warning signs. The engine may sound like it's running rough, revving, dying, or backfiring. You might hear hissing coming from the tank. The tank could start to bulge or there's a strong smell of gasoline. If you notice any of these things, don't take off that gas cap. Allow the engine to cool, allow the gas tank to cool. Note that the bulging has gone down. You don't hear the hissing anymore before you attempt to open the gas tank. The biggest risk is on older equipment built before 2011, but we found recalls for ATV models from as recently as 2013, 2014, and 2015 for fire and burn hazards caused by gas caps that didn't vent properly. Venting on most newer gas tanks and gas caps has already been updated to prevent that type of clogging. It'll vent properly, but simply cleaning older models and checking for clogs can lower your risk and make sure that you have the right gas cap because a diesel cap doesn't vent properly for a gas powered engine. You can always check to be sure your toys and tours are not under a recall. We've put a link right with this story on our website. I'm Teresa Marchetta. If you have a consumer alert for other Coloradans and need help getting the word out, or if you just want us to look into something, Contact 7 has a team ready to help you get results. You can call or text that number right there on your screen or reach out to us on Facebook or Twitter.